Guys, so today I'm going to be doing my July favourites and I really do apologise for the lack of monthly favourites recently. I know I haven't done a recent uh, favourites video in the longest time. It has been a couple of months even, like since like last year I'm pretty sure. So I do seriously apologize for the lack of monthly favorites videos and I'm not even sure if you guys like them so I'm just kind of rolling with it hopefully that you guys do like them. So I'm going to jump straight into my monthly favorites. Um, when it comes to makeup I feel like I typically stay in the same bubble of makeup because I feel like what works for me works for me and I don't really want to go outside that bubble because I know that stuff works for me. So recently um, I have actually accumulated quite a few products that I thought were worthy of showing you guys. So I'll start off with the more non like makeup things I suppose but it's still in like the beauty makeup section. Anyway, um, first one is going to be the Max Fix Plus. Now I love this for a couple of reasons. The main one being a finishing spray and I know that's what a lot of people use it for. Um, but basically I just use this after I finish my makeup because I do have to mattify my face quite a lot because this is a oil like it's like an oil face it's so bad so I feel like when I powder my face quite a bit I obviously look really really powdery and that is not cute so I like to use this as my finishing spray and I feel like it just kind of dulls the powder down if that makes sense um, I feel like it just gets rid of the powderiness and it just looks normal so I really like it for that reason um, other reason being I like to use this as um, or I guess I like to make like eyeliners out of pigments and stuff. I think that's a really cool idea. Um, also out of eyeshadows as well. It works with that as well and it also makes your eyeshadows look a little bit more intense if you just wet the brush and dip it into your eyeshadow. So definitely recommend this if you guys are after a multi purpose or multitasking product. So yeah definitely recommend this and it's a really awesome product. So next uh, item or favorite I have is a pair of eyelashes. Now I have recently just gotten into loving eyelashes. I've always loved eyelashes but I've never actually like worn them usually on a daily basis. It's always been at night time or just special occasions. So I've recently gotten into wearing them just kind of during the day. Um, and these are by Cherry Blossom. They're the Wispies and they are just absolutely gorgeous. They're really, really nice and flirty and long. Um, they just look really natural on when when you are wearing them so I absolutely love them for that reason. I am not usually a dramatic eyelash person so these are definitely on my alley. Um, really really like them. I actually order all of my eyelashes off ikatehouse.com which I will link down below because it's an awesome website that sells uh, NYX, ELF and like LA Colors, LA Splash, all that kind of stuff. They do sell it and they also have a awesome range of eyelashes and these ones are $1.49 a piece so absolute bargain. <laughs> Okay, so I will move on to eyes and eyebrows. Now, first thing being eyebrows, I have been loving for the longest time the MUA Ultimate Brow Kit. This thing is amazing. It caters to everyone because it does have a shade for everyone. You get a massive mirror, but I'm going to cover that so I don't blind you guys. But basically, you get three different um, shades. You get a really nice blonde color, brunette color, and kind of a taupey color. I like to obviously use the taupey color because it just suits my eyebrows right now um, and then you get a little wax as well which I'm not too sure of how I feel about it yet I've had it for a really long time but I'm still playing around with the wax so yeah really like this and this thing is like three pounds fifty off the MUA website which I'll link down below um, they are actually having a awesome like half price sale um, but I don't think this is half off which is kind of a shame but still three pounds fifty it works out to be about six or seven Australian dollars so it still is really really inexpensive but I have actually just ordered another one so you guys will see a really big MUA haul really really soon so stay tuned for that video because even I'm super excited for it I can't wait for my package to arrive so anyway um yeah really really love this and I'll definitely recommend it to everyone because it obviously has a shade for everyone in there so yeah really really good product so the next product that I've been loving is this um, Maybelline Color Tattoo. This is a 24 hour one in the metal collection. This is in 55 inked in pink. This is just the best color ever. This is just the most amazing pink uh, kind of metallic shade. I really, really like it. It's just a really good everyday shade. What I actually like to do with it is put this all over the lid, put a little bit of brown into the crease, and then just put some eyeliner on if I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous with my eye makeup, and then just put a little bit of mascara on, and I'm good to go. And it looks really, really nice and pulled together, and you guys can see swatches of this on my blog and anything else that I need to swatch as well. So yeah, definitely go check out my blog if you guys want to go see swatches. 
of it if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, I really like it and it's a really, really good product. And there's a couple of other shades to choose from in that line as well. So yeah, definitely recommend that. And my last eye product that I have is my uh, new liquid liner or semi kind of not even new no it's not new anymore this is the Maybelline Master Precise liquid liner this is so good because it is basically foolproof and me being me with my liquid liner I am such a rookie when it comes to my eyeliner because one eye will be perfect and one eye will be so retarded so I feel like this definitely helps quite a bit because the um tip of it is really 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 precise and it's really easy to use and it's just very flexible really easy to use and like I said it's foolproof so I've been loving this for pretty much almost every single day when I can actually be bothered to put eyeliner on so yeah really really like this definitely foolproof and I would definitely recommend it for those who are just beginning in liquid liner or if they just want I don't know a little extra easy step in their makeup um collection makeup procedure I don't know what I'm talking about anyway we'll move on so next is face now first one being my um, Rimmel Stay Matte powder this is an amazing powder I don't know why I like hide behind the product I don't know why I do that but um yeah <laughs> this is the Rimmel Stay Matte powder I absolutely love this it's just a transparent um, apparently powder but I feel like it does give me a little bit of extra coverage which is really weird but um, I really like it I feel like it makes my foundation or whatever I'm wearing absolutely flawless it just locks in the product and it's absolutely amazing and this is usually on sale on Priceline so I can usually get it for a pretty good deal but I really really like it and I know a lot of people love it as well so I might as well recommend it as well while I'm at it so yeah um, now I've also been loving my Chanel bronzer this is the Chanel Salil D10 Chanel I absolutely love it. It just looks so fancy and so luxurious and beautiful. I think anything with this little Chanel line in it, it just looks so pretty. So yeah, this is my first Chanel product and only Chanel product at the moment. Um, but if you haven't seen it, which I don't know where you've been, if you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like. It's just a really nice cream bronzer. It's absolutely beautiful. I've had it for a couple of months and it doesn't even look like I've touched it. So I feel like this is going to last me quite a long time and I would definitely recommend it. Unfortunately, they have um, at the moment discontinued it, but they usually do bring it back for a limited edition item. So definitely check all of your Chanel counters. And if I can find it online, I will definitely link it down below. So yeah, definitely check out the description bar if there are any links to it so yeah really really love this product for an everyday use and it's just a really nice easy way to make I don't know your face look really nice and naturally bronzed um, which is quite a nice treat for me because I am extremely pale so yeah um, now to go along with that I've also been loving my Australis cream color for cheeks and lips which is what I've got on my lips and cheeks today um, this is in flirtatious pink and I have actually done a full-on tutorial with uh, just this product on my eyes cheeks and lips so I will link that down below so you guys can check it out but it is just the most amazing pink color ever and I love it so you guys can check out that tutorial to see how I use it on my cheeks eyes and lips yes I said eyes it's on my eyes so yeah really love this product I would definitely recommend it um just the best cream bron um cream cream blush ever I am like too excited so I am losing my words now last little section that I want to talk to you guys about is brushes now I've been loving a couple of brushes and all of these brushes have a purpose for one of the products that I've actually used in this favorites favorites video so first one being my elf professional eyeliner brush this is just a flat eyeliner brush I actually like to use this with uh, my eyebrow kit this is the best eyebrow brush ever it's really good it's like a dollar off ikatehouse.com like I said links down below um, I've also been loving and I'm surprised that I've been loving this brush because I've never actually reached for it usually um, this is the Sigma duo fiber f50 this is just a really big duo fiber brush I really like it for the cream um, I'm gonna say bronzer cream blush this is just amazing and it's just, ooh, it's so good it just applies the cream blush really, really well, and I definitely recommend this if you're using any kind of cream product because I feel like it just doesn't pack on, you know, the product too much. It just kind of buffs it out beautifully. It just applies the right amount. It's just an amazing, amazing brush. So I will have this in a direct link down below so you guys can check it out on Sigma so you guys can click through that link. And the last brush that I've been loving is the Real Techniques 
uh, what is this, Expert Face Brush. This I like to use for a couple of reasons. Um, first one being concealer. This is an amazing under eye concealer brush. It just pats it out like no other. And also I've been loving it for the cream bronzer. There we go, bronzer. Um, I've really been loving it for that reason also. It just gets into the hollows of your cheeks like no other. And it just goes around the face really nicely. I don't know why I demonstrate it because there's nothing on the brush. But yeah, I really like it for that reason and I love this brush. And I think there is a link to the iHerb.com link down below as well, which I'll put that down below as well. So I will have links to everything that I talked about if I can find a link for it um, or where I buy it from. So yeah, that is it. That is all of my favorites. And I know it's been the longest time since I've actually shown you guys my favorites, but I really do apologize for the lack of favorites videos uh, recently in the last couple of months. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites. And if you have actually filmed a favorites, please leave it down as a video response or just leave them in the comments down below because I would love to hear from you guys. So yes, that is everything that I have to share with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah. <laughs>